for the people and the government of the Republic of South Africa, I'd like to welcome all of you to South Africa. We are honored indeed to be hosting this historic act of solidarity with the Sahrawi people. Now, Honorable Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Republic of Kenya, Ababu Namwamba. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Your Excellency, Cyril Ramaphosa, President of the Republic of South Africa, and our gracious host today. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to convey to this historic and distinguished solidarity gathering the message of goodwill and solidarity for my president, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, who has asked me to represent him here and from the people of Kenya. President Kenyatta is grateful for being invited here and sends his sincere regret with due respect for not attending in person due to other official engagements. Nonetheless, he wishes this focus gathering for full deliberations and awaits the outcome. Excellencies, Kenya believes in the principle of the inalienable right to self-determination and has remained steadfast in its support of and in solidarity with all people seeking their independence. This principle is the foundation for the very existence of the nations of Africa. It is at the heart of the spirit that lit the fires of liberation across the length and breadth of our great continent. The right to self-determination is the primary motivation that inspired the great heroes of the African independence movement from Jomo Kenyatta to Nelson Mandela, from Ahmed Ben Bella to Kwame Nkrumah, Sam Nioma to Samora Machel, and many more. Indeed, the right to self-determination and independence is the very DNA of Pan-Africanism and the organization of African unity, now the African Union. Kenya has also remained consistent through time in its support of the grand project of the OAU AU to complete the colonization of Africa. Indeed, one of the main purposes of the OAU Charter, adopted and signed by the heads of African states and governments in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, on 25th of May 1963, was to eradicate all forms of colonialism from Africa. The first conference of independent African heads of state and government in Addis Ababa from the 22nd to the 25th of May 1963, adopted resolution CIAS Plenary 2 stroke Re resolution 2 on the colonization in which the African leaders expressed their unanimous conviction of the urgent necessity to coordinate and intensify their efforts to accelerate the unconditional attainment of a national independence of all African territories still under foreign domination. They also reaffirmed the duty of all African independent states to support dependent peoples in Africa in their struggle for freedom and independence. The same principle resides at the core of the constitutive acts of the African Union. This decolonization project bears monumental significance for the dignity of the African person, <coughs> for the renaissance of our continent, and for the ultimate growth and shared prosperity of the people of Africa. It is a project that has always enjoyed and will continue to enjoy Kenya's unequivocal support. And this is support that is both in Africa and beyond. Indeed, it is the same spirit 
that informs Kenya's position on Palestine and the Chagos Islands of Mauritius. Excellencies, central to this noble decolonization agenda is OAU Resolution AAG, Stroke Resolution 161, that have found the wisdom and prudence of maintaining the independence boundaries, recognizing that border problems constituted a grave and permanent factor of dissension, the OAU was unequivocal in establishing the intangibility of borders inherited from the colonial period as a key guiding principle. To this end, the OAU Assembly of Heads of State and Government, meeting in its first ordinary session in Cairo, Egypt, from 17th to 21st July 1964, adopted res resolution AAG Resolution 16 on border disputes among African states. Considering that borders of African states on the day of their independence constituted a tangible reality, the OEU Assembly solemnly declared that all member states had pledged themselves to respect the borders existing on the achievement of national independence. The wisdom then, as it remains today, is that it causes a people of seismic proportions to attempt to tinker with established boundaries. Kenya reiterates our support for and commitment to resolving border disputes through peaceful and concession means especially also in light of our continental goal of silencing all guns by the year 2020. Excellences, a historic solidarity gathering of this magnitude is a fitting opportunity for us to reaffirm our commitment to the rule of law and to celebrate a rules-based community of nations. Kenya has always chosen to work on the right side of history by respecting and supporting international conventions, customs, norms, and practices that ensure against the perils of lawlessness. We respect and support the law, resolutions, and declarations that give meaning to the inalienable right to self-determination and decolonization of the whole of Africa. We particularly draw attention to the 1979 resolution A. Stroke 34, Stroke 37 of the 34th session of the United Nations General Assembly on the question of Western Sahara, which inter alia reaffirmed, and I quote, the inalienable right of the people of Western Sahara to self-determination and independence in accordance with the Charter of the United Nations, the Charter of the Organization of African Unity, and the objectives of General Assembly Resolution 1514 and the legitimacy of their struggle to secure enjoyment of that right as envisaged in the relevant resolutions of the United Nations and the Organization of African Unity end of court. Excellencies, in conclusion, the Kenyan nation was forged on the anvil of self-determination and birthed through the pains of the liberation struggle. Our national struggle was nourished by the solidarity of Africa, from Algiers to Maputo, from Accra to Dar es Salaam and beyond. Today, we consider it a solemn duty to reaffirm solidarity with the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic and the right of her peoples to self-determination and independence. Mr. Chair, I thank you.